everybody's voting for the friendly voice of radio, the people's choice. <laughs> When we don't have the media, and or the media is controlled by another group that doesn't have our side of the story, our perspective, our community interest, and other people hear from them, and we have nothing to combat that. We have, we don't have our own radio station, our our newspaper, to put our truths out there, our version, our perspective out there. Then, in a way, they control the battle. We have to fight for those spaces. Like we, we as social justice movement builders need to really own spaces um, and be able to control narratives um, because we believe that like the people know how to tell their own stories and they know the solutions to their own problems. How do we get accurate information to our folks? You know, how do we have authentic conversations across borders and boundaries that divide us? I think community radio is one of the tools that can really start bringing folks together um, to get in the practice of working with each other and to get in the habit of leading dialogue and sharing information about issues that's important to where we are. They actually have to look at themselves and, and tell and hear their own stories. Then you start to see people kind of open up and they, and they become proud of who they are. And so if we had our own radio station where the people could call in and talk about what they're going through, how they're being mistreated, how the injustice that's going on, it would be an outlet that would be an in-source and an outsource at the same time that could release and get out to the world some of the things that are going on in that area. This really is about telling the stories and using the stories to push policy so that folks can really build a world that includes their visions. And that's one of the promises of, of Low Power FM, is that you can set the criteria that you won't play buffoonery, you won't play music that, that advocates violence. Because that's not the only music that's out there, but that's what's been put in mainstream radio. And that's another reason why the radio station is so important, so you can hear different voices, you can hear positive messages. It's just about like channeling all that creative energy. Like there's so much energy and talent out there that it just needs to be like streamlined. To organize, galvanize, and educate uh, community stakeholders and policy makers. That helps our community to grow. And um, preserve the cultural identity of our neighborhoods. Sería mejor también que haya más estaciones de radio comunitarias a nivel del país y creo que ayudaría a todas las organizaciones en diferentes partes de tener una sola voz y tener muchas estaciones comunitarias para cada campaña en diferentes luchas y así es más fácil comunicar con todos. I definitely support. I 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 support. Community radio. 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 Hundred percent. Community radio. Community radio. Community radio. 100%. Low powered, people powered community radio. We need community radio. Don't you think so?